According to the British Record Industries Trade Association, around 7.7 .7 million people have illegally downloaded music last year. Its latest report suggests more than 1 billion tracks were pirated or shared, costing the industry over £200 million. At least 7 million people in Britain use illegal downloads, costing the economy billions of pounds and thousands of jobs. Research shows that more than three quarters of music downloaded in the UK is legally obtained, with no payment to the musicians, songwriters or music companies producing it. It also suggests that it is gradually increasing every month, which is causing artists not to make CDs and instead put their music on the internet as a download file only. For example, most singles are now download only on iTunes instead of being released on disc. So, how are artists coping with this change? What did they think of illegal downloading? I caught up with small band Octane OK to see what they thought. Overall, most artists are relying on merchandise sales and ticket sales to their gigs to make money and keep their career going for as long as possible. If their fans want the artists to keep being around, then they are going to have to keep supporting them and buy their music. <laughs> 